Welcome to our coaching program, Fellow Mates. This is Coach RJ once again. It is my pleasure to refresh this topic or subject regarding basic stability. I know that we've been through with this basic foundation back in our college days. And if you are in um, completing your dream and stability training in the training center, of course, you are more uh, well refreshed. Okay, but for those who really forget the basic stability and this is best opportunity to be refreshed okay let's go to the stability nomenclature nomenclature in a uh, naval architecture terms most of the time we oh they use this term but for us it's very strange uh, word but later on you will understand what are these nomenclature okay there's a drawing first the term that we use in stability measurement or the origin of measurement are like this key represent the keel of the vessel the m represent meta center the key M represent height of meta center. The G is the center of gravity. Okay. When the vessel or the vessel is floating, the center of gravity, for example, is here. Okay. That is okay. The, the force, okay. The G, remember, is the force downward, okay, or vice versa, downward force, okay. And the KG represent the height of center of gravity. Okay, key G, height of center of gravity. The GM, okay, GM height or meta center height from the origin, okay, of the gravity to the meta center. Okay, that is GM or meta centric height. And we have the buoyancy. Here is the buoyancy, the center of buoyancy. And this buoyancy, remember, force upward, okay? Or the upward force, okay? So G is downward force and buoyancy is the upward force. Now, if that G and B have equal forces, of course, an object will really float. Okay, let's see. Reminder. Okay, another thing is that KB is the height of center buoyancy. Okay, from here the kill measurement to here. That is the height of center buoyancy. BM, of course, from buoyancy to metacenter, we call it metacentric radius. Okay? Then, in relationship, if the B force or weight applied of the weight of the vessel, this is the vessel in box type for example the light shape of the vessel 
is equal to the buoyancy, meaning your vessel will float. Okay, vessel floats. So that is the relationship. Now, if the gravity or the weight of the vessel is greater than the upward forces or the pressure, what will happen? The vessel will sink. Okay. Now, what is the relationship or how we apply these things on board a vessel? What are the things you need to identify that there is a a warnings or a measurement we have on board that needs to be followed as per regulations do you remember or have you seen it on board of course you have seen it okay and that is the plimsoll mark plimsoll mark remember there is a dist okay and there is uh, on the right side we have the the load line zones okay load line zones like summer drop or summer tropical winter tropical fresh just like that and on the table of our manual hydrostatic table or the stability manual we have there the details regarding tropical drop displacement the dead weight and so forth because we don't need to overload because if overload too much or much gravity weight gravity is greater than buoyancy the vessel will sink okay the gravity equals to buoyancy that is our target that is why there is a load line plimsoll mark and uh, and um, the load line okay load line zone i mean okay as per class classification or classification society approval and the vessel is designed to load maximum cargo as per the load line zone or the draft marks all right so i hope that this really clear you up my fellow mates and i try to explain it in a practical way so this nomenclature remember are the origin of our measurement these terms we use especially in uh, stability calculations if you like a manual calculation you can also do this especially when you try to prepare an ncb forms you can surely uh, need this uh, in details like the gm the kg the km just like that okay and the formulas as well now this is only a basic i a refresh topic okay I hope that you cover or recover again and much better now understanding and how we apply this stability nomenclature in cargo calculations or stability of our vessels. All right, so that's it, my fellow mates. Thank you for watching. And um, of course, keep watching on my next uh, video presentations regarding basic stability all right so coach rj thank you for watching bye